Today I had a class with my student Dane, and we went over something he's been trying to create recently, which is this growl style bass. During our class, we went through and created this within Ableton Live, and I wanted to show it off for you all and some of the techniques that I used so that you can both download the actual preset off my site as well as take these ideas and build your own instruments from them. So to do this, I used Operator within Ableton Live, which is included in Live Suite. And basically, I needed an FM synthesizer. I have my first oscillator here with a, with a triangle wave. And the triangle wave has a nice thick harmonics, which is really good. So let me just solo these and play that. Turn down those effects just for the sake. So it's pretty simple. It's got some nice harmonics. And let's put in a spectrum just so we can see what's happening. So from here, what I want to do is create lots of different sounds coming in and out to represent the vocals of how when we move our mouth up and down, we have all sorts of different harmonics, especially in the higher end. So what I do is I come in here and I turn on these two oscillators and on them I just had uh, some custom waves. I just kind of drew this right here with my pen. And the same with this one up here. Just kind of drew a random wave until it sounded good. And what's happening is these, they're modulating the frequency of this oscillator here. So that way, when I play it, I'm getting much more harmonics because this waveform is now being is now modulating this one down here. So the magic really comes in when you start the moving and increasing the level of these different oscillators and how they affect that first bass oscillator, which is a triangle wave. So what I did is I just mapped these over into my macro, and you can right-click and map it to your macro knob. So I'm going to play this. You can see how it already creates these really awesome sweeping sounds. So one other thing I did just to add a little extra to it all was I have this format filter here. I'm just going to open up. Now, this is one of those crazy racks within racks. And I'm not going to go too deep in all the theory behind this, but just really show it off. And you can download it and just play with it. So the idea here is, I got to fold this, that as I move my growl up and down, it's an EQ that's trying to represent the, the U format, like how we say U. And as it moves up and down, it creates this nice quality to it. So without it, it's similar, but I just think it added a little bit more unique sonic quality. And then, let me just turn that down a little. And then next, I'm going to fold this again. I have a saturator, which just... can add a nice crunchy fatness to it. And then the last one is a chorus. And with all those basic things, I have a really awesome synthesizer that I can do quite a bit with. And I just have to use these three macro knobs. Super simple. And the other thing I threw in, with me and Dane, we were working on some trap music, some sounds that he found in trap. And one thing you find a lot is they'll have this like super saw wave type really big patty section and then there'll be a drop and it'll be super simple deep bass and these little percussive melodies and that's what we played with was uh, very simple we'll look at operator again and i'm just using these two actually and i have a saw wave here which let's go up an octave so I have a little saw wave that's giving the attack, and then I have just a sign. So let's turn off that saw wave, and we're just looking at the sign. Pretty simple. But when we add this one, 
which has a really strong attack but quick decay. It gives it that little percussive sound added to it. So. And then I added a few effects here to just make it interesting. I've got reverb and I've got some different controls. So I can turn the sign up or down and the attack as well as the reverb. And then I also added a, a bit reduction, a redux, so I can... So I can get kind of an older, retro, interesting synth sound out of it. So yeah, both these instruments are awesome techniques, totally ready to use and free on my site. I made this in Live 8 because he uses Live 8, so feel free to download it, use it in your own music, or expand off it, and just have a lot of fun with these growl and pluck type sounds. Visit subaqueousmusic.com and check out the producer's blog to see tons of free live packs to give you the cutting edge in producing music and sound design techniques. Also offer sample libraries, Ableton packs for sale, as well as private classes through the website. Make sure you subscribe at YouTube so you can see upcoming videos about different techniques, free packs to download, and more.